Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through the new tag function in OS X Mavericks. The new tag function takes over the old labels function. The old labels function is where you could set different files a color and it would stand out. It would kind of highlight their name. The tags function is to easily sort them and you can view all your tags in one place. So, for example, this file that I've saved right here has the blue tag. You can see it there. Or if I go to this view, it puts the little dot next to the file name. The blue tag, for example, we can know that any file with the blue tag is YouTube demos. So it'll show up under the blue tag section in Finder. So all of the documents I have saved with the blue tag will show up here. You can also name the tags. And you can also tag just about any file. So I'm going to paste in my folder here. I'm going to paste this image that I had copied and I'm going to right click and we can view the different tags and I can assign it the tag of purple. It will then show up in the purple tag section. Now, you can change the names of these. For example, this one originally was gray. I changed it to school for an example to show you. So what we can do is we can change purple. We can go to Finder Preferences and it'll give you a list of all your tags here. I'll double click on purple and it'll let us change the name. So we can change this to YouTube Demo Photos. It'll automatically update the files with that tag. So you only notice this photo still has the purple tag. Over here, it is now called YouTube Demo Photos. You can also assign files multiple tags. So if I want to tag this document, we can simply select two tags, and it'll show that little icon there. And it will appear under both the green and blue tag section. I would also like to point out that if you are saving a file, for example, I'll show you in text edit, we can say this is a test. When we're saving that, we can assign it tags right in here. So we can simply click the tags box and I'll assign it blue and I'll assign it purple and then this demo text. We can hit save. It comes up in that folder and we already assigned those tags right when we were saving the folder. Also, please check out my demo and tutorial on iMovie 10.0.